नमस्कार टुडे इन दिस वीडियो एक्चुअली आई हैव सेलेक्टेड ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज़ वेरी क्लोज टू मी इन मेनी एस्पेक्ट एंड द टॉपिक द टाइटल ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज ह्यूमन हेड इज़ नॉट अलाउड टुवर्ड्स अर्थ नॉर्थ डायरेक्शन फॉर स्लीपिंग पर्पस so uh, this analysis uh, basically is research based and uh, not like that whatever comes in mind uh, and uh, other things uh, i will explain here i have included uh, many research paper and uh, assumptions uh, some physics and then after i conclude so people who are basically interested to know uh, these facts uh, in a deep way only then this video uh, is useful uh, otherwise it would be a story that uh, the person dr susil kumar is uh, uh, here uh, just to show that uh, one had to not sleep towards the uh, north direction it is it should be avoided because these things are already uh, mentioned in many videos or uh, people in general in our culture in india says that and because of this region I mean because of this region why they are saying that one should avoid this uh, direction uh, and what is the reason behind to it because of that reason i went into the detail and then i basically feel uh, that uh, one have to why why one have to avoid the direction of uh, north so uh, let's start uh, some uh, point uh, because of that uh, i have carried out this study and uh, the purpose i have already mentioned uh, this is a very clean study and based on the fact scientific facts uh, and uh, the purpose is again uh, i i am basically interested to find out the impact of earth's geomagnetic field on human body and mind so uh, in this picture you can see head direction at sleeping time towards north earth's north direction uh first i will discuss about to the magnetic field of the earth then human brain and what physics and perception i have included here so first of all earth magnetic field as you know that magnetic field line move from north direction towards the south direction as you can show here in this picture right so magnetic field line starts from the north and it reaches uh, to the as south end one more interesting thing that you should know uh, here that magnetic field of the earth is acceptable from uh, 20 micro tesla to 60 micro tesla and in general it remains 40 or 45 micro tesla at uh, different places of the earth uh, at uh, airplane i have observed it uh, uh, 50 micro tesla just above the clouds when it was basically was set uh, in horizontal position right so uh, these are the points related to the magnetic field and about to the human brains uh, scientific studies have discovered a substance called magnetite in the human brain with size ranging from this uh, magnetite grain size basically 1 to 70 nanometers and occasionally at some point it was 200 nanometer most of it is found near the cerebellum and brain stem of the brain part where the pineal gland is situated a very interesting thing the cerebellum constitutes 10% of the brain size and contains over 80% of its neurons just imagine this magnetite is typically observed in a single domain suggesting that most magnetic dipoles are aligned in one direction during sleep it remains perpendicular to earth's magnetic field while in a sitting posture it aligns parallel to it this i assume here physics and my perception when earth's magnetic field interacts with the magnetic dipoles a torque is applied that changes the orientation of these dipoles along the field direction in that domain single domain and here again 
आई एज्यूम दैट दिस सिंगल डोमेन इज इन दम ऑफ ए थिन रेक्टेंगुलर शेप दिस चेंज इन द नेचुरल ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द डाइपोल्स विच इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द इंट्रेक्शन ऑफ द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड द मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल्स ऑफ द मैग्नेटाइट This change in the natural orientation of the dipoles within the domain potentially leading to disruptions in the transmission and reception of the neuronal signals to and from the body. So the permanent magnetic dipole orientation disturb and in the interaction of the earth magnetic field it basically orientation change and because of that neural jo signals they disturbs. such disruptions may result in diseases in the human body uh, in many cases memory losses or changes in the behavior so uh, in a, for this study basically a uh, few concepts and components i have considered so i feel that it will be useful for uh, you and me to explain those concept actually in the next slide so first point is about to the pineal gland and this picture first picture you can see here and this white portion is about to the pineal gland in next slides i have given the dimensions of it and the reference of this research article i assume this part which is at the top of head reflecting pineal gland is important for the penetration of the magnetic field and its interaction so magnetic field basically can penetrate at some point just about to the pineal gland uh, i suppose and the, that interaction take place so uh, pineal gland from my point of view is more important in this study second thing is about to the domain and uh, the magnetic dipole and its direction so a single domain uh, is mentioned into the research and uh, uh, i uh, assume that unidirectional magnetic dipoles exist into that and uh, it was observed through the magnetite grains i assume arrow towards the forehead and tail back of the head so if this is the forehead and this is the back so towards it magnetic dipoles in this uh, pineal gland uh, towards like this uh, in the third picture basically i have tried to show and uh, in uh, a big size i will show in the next slides uh, the brain stem uh, the cerebellum and the pineal gland position so one can basically easily understand that what is going on and where all these things get happen a uh, four point is about to the magnetic dipole this is a physics concept and everybody knows about to it who are aware about to the uh, plus 2 physics so this n pole s pole is uh, representing external magnetic field and inside it there is a tiny bar magnet which have north and south pole obviously making an angle of 90 degree so at this time uh, the magnetic field lines basically uh, try to align this tiny bar uh, along the magnetic field direction and a torque will apply here and that torque is defined by the magnetic pole magnetic moment strength mag external magnetic field strength and the angle theta it depends on these three factor and when theta is 90 degree it is maximum so this basic idea i have considered uh, in the earth you know earth behaves like a magnet and magnetic field line starts from the north and it reaches up to the south uh, one uh, basically picture i have taken here uh, to show the uh, sleeping posture and into the sleeping postures uh, top of head is important in this study because uh, this is the portion this is the top of the head when you are laying down on the surface or on the bed uh, so that uh, you can connect this picture this pineal gland picture here this is the top of the head this is the top this side right uh, which is more important when one is laying down on the surface of the earth or anywhere on uh, any kind of surfaces in one more picture uh, this last picture i have shown you uh, this pineal gland and the shape of it which is a uh, rectangular shape and flat surfaces here and uh, these are basically representation of the magnetic dipole here towards the uh, face 
uh, towards the forehead right so these basic uh, concept and components i have taken into this study and uh, then after i conclude it uh, next point is about to the research what research says because magnetic field is very important remain uh, of interest uh, since a long time so this is useful in many ways and uh, uh, many time basically it uh, it shows adverse effect on the human body uh, the references is uh, given into the next slide here you can see all these references for such kind of study right so now uh, i uh, will include some research articles to show all these things article published in favor of geomagnetic field effects on human so in this article basically it was shown that a human can also sense about to the uh, geomagnetic field earlier it was assumed that uh, only the birds animals or some other uh, living things can uh, sense the geomagnetic field but in this research article it is shown that uh, human can also uh, sense the uh, geomagnetic field so this is about to the sense of the magnetic field by the human beings and uh, in this research article which was published in 2018 in scientific report mentioned that uh, magnetite uh, is found observed inside the brain and uh, most probable place of uh, finding of it uh, was uh, cerebellum and brain stem uh, so it is mentioned uh, that uh, the size of these magnet uh, type grains are near about to 1 nanometer to the 70 nanometer and occasionally it is it was 200 nanometer and uh, uh, these basically uh, magnetite uh, which we observed uh, in a single domain range and uh, magnetization uh, obviously it is uh, near to the cerebellum and to the brain stem uh, where uh, I told you that uh, pineal gland exists. So in this study, in this third article, I am just trying to show uh, you uh, the impact of the geomagnetic uh, field on human mind. And in this study, you can see that in Taiwan, a study uh, a research study basically carried out no the impact of the geomagnetic field effect on human minds and uh, the behavior of the people so this study uh, basically uh, include the data uh, from 1997 to the 2013 of the geomagnetism and uh, the point basically uh, if you are not aware about to the geomagnetism is what Geomagnetism refers to the magnetic field generated by the Earth's molten iron core. It is a fundamental force of nature and plays a significant role in various geophysical processes and phenomena. Worldwide, there were 8,4,000 deaths from suicide in 2012. Are you not surprised to look this number 8 lakh deaths in the year of 2012? And the global age standardized suicide rate is estimated to be 11.4 per 1 lakh population. So it, it is a very uh, critical uh, uh, and very serious problems for the humanity, for the mankind that these number of peoples are doing suicide. What is the reason of that? So the research basically carried out uh, in different different sections and uh, how basically uh, and what factors basically are included here so uh, there are many studies uh, 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 mentioned here previous suicide attempts uh, psychiatric disorder abuse of alcohol and other substances employment status financial loss despair chronic pain chronic illness and family history of suicide have been reported as risk factor for suicide Environmental factors such as air pollution, electromagnetic fields and season have also been reported as suicide risk factor. Right. So in addition to this, studies which is carried out in countries such as Canada, South Africa, Finland, Australia, Russia and Japan 
so it is basically uh, concluded that a stronger geomagnetism is linked to a higher standardized mortality ratio for suicide so uh, in this research article and on the basis of facts data which was available uh, they conclude about to it that uh, suicide basically is associated with the geomagnetic storm activities and uh, the data was of 13 years so this mentioned in uh, one research article and uh, in the same research article it was mentioned that uh, the pineal gland actually is uh, magnetosensitive and uh, this pineal gland basically plays the role very important role in uh, human body and mind so you can see here this cerebellum and uh, this pineal gland and its connectivity so i will show you uh, in the next slide a uh, few important points about the pineal gland and uh, other facts so uh, i want to include here one more important point that is related to the rene descartes philosophical view on pineal uh, gland so in his book basically uh, presence of the soul that he mentioned that pineal gland is a place where soul of the human beings is seats so uh, inside the brain pineal uh, gland exists and there he says our soul exists now i want to include a physical concept uh, where is the role of physics in this study so as you know that uh, i have mentioned uh, about to the magnetite in one research article that was published in 2018 in scientific reports uh, and here it was mentioned a uh, single domain and magnetite particles and uh, obviously uh, they will reflect the magnetic domain and interaction with the external magnetic field uh, which is part of this study so the scientific studies have found a substance called magnetite if you are thinking that what is magnetite in the human brain Magnetite is a type of iron mineral with a specific structure. The researchers uh, in these studies used various methods like X-rays and electron diffraction patterns to confirm the presence of magnetite in the brain. They also observed some properties of magnetite like something called the wave transition and the way it responds to magnetic fields. These findings suggest that magnetite is indeed present in the human brain and it has certain characteristics. So here through this slide I want to show you that in human brain you basically uh, can see the magnetite and that is responsible for the magnetic field. Earth is also uh, behave like a magnet and uh, that basically that have north pole and south pole so magnetic materials uh, most of the uh, science students are aware at least those who have completed uh, plus two with the science what is the purpose of this uh, slide the purpose of this slide is shown a concept of the ferromagnetism uh, which is an example of iron nickel and cobalt when this kind of a material is placed inside the external magnetic field so what happens the external magnetic field interact with the magnetic dipoles of the magnetic material and when we increase the intensity of the external magnetic field all these scattered magnetic dipoles starts to align in one direction and when magnetic field is sufficiently enough to move to orient all scattered magnetic dipoles in different direction in a one direction we see that it is perfectly magnetized right so this is the north pole and this is the south pole as we know from this study so by this way actually we uh, categorize the magnetic materials of uh, that, that is diamagnetic paramagnetic ferromagnetic antiferromagnetic uh, on the basis of their dipole orientation and response to the external magnetic field so this is the idea this is the concept uh, related to it 
and uh, which we will use into the next slide for this purpose and uh, in this study actually i have made some assumptions to make it more clear that uh, how to uh, get the how to find out the answer of that question which is basically exist in our culture that uh, one have to avoid the head towards the north direction of the earth so i have made some assumptions and uh, the first assumption is when head stop is towards the north earth's magnetic field is perpendicular to the magnetic dipole inside the brain most probably spinal gland surface which expose more and responsible for this activity second assumption is these dipoles interact with the field which as a result rotate the dipoles direction towards the field direction and here i am talking about to the field direction means earth's field direction at number 3 the third assumption the change in natural orientation of dipoles creates the communication problem between mind and body or in a specific part when the natural orientation will get disturbed so obviously the signal uh, which basically carried out from uh, the mind uh, or mind in terms of the neurons so then uh, Uh, some kind of uh, disturbance basically body will observe and uh, by this reason one can observe the disease in body and mind body and mind magnetic field lines and magnetic moment what is that uh, is shown here and earlier uh, in earlier picture i have mentioned it uh, here uh, how earth's magnetic field lines and magnetic moment interact in a single domain i have shown here all four possibilities of the single domain and the magnetic dipole inside to that how basically uh, that can interact in any situation so as i assume that earth's magnetic field is either perpendicular or parallel to the magnetic dipoles in a single domain inside the brain so let us consider first situation uh, whether uh, in situation or situation d in both the cases as you know that magnetic dipole or magnetic moment is perpendicular to the direction of the earth's magnetic field here you can see the earth magnetic di direction and it is perpendicular just making 90 degree angle with the magnetic dipoles or magnetic moment of the uh, uh, of the dipoles uh, inside the brain right uh, we, which basically experimentally observed and i assumed uh, by this way so in both cases or uh, whether the uh, the magnetic dipoles are uh, upward direction or downward direction but in any case uh, in any case uh, the situation theta is of 90 degree so when a magnetic dipole with the magnetic moment m forms an angle theta with the magnetic field b the magnetic torque and acting on the dipole is given by the formula n is equal to m b sin theta and here it will be maximum when theta is 90 degree so in our case it does not matter the magnetic moment is up, uh, upward direction or downward direction so the point is that it making an angle 90 degree in both the situation so here torque will be maximum uh, and it will try basically uh, the external magnetic field uh, will try to align it in the uh, same direction which is of the external magnetic field but uh, if suppose it is a parallel or anti parallel that means if it is uh, making an angle uh, theta with the external magnetic field lines uh, is zero or 180 degree in that case torque will be zero so there will be no force and uh, there will be no movement of these uh, uh, magnetic dipoles inside the brain which uh, we are assuming so in uh, all the four cases so what basically we had observed we had observed earth's magnetic field is perpendicular and parallel to the magnetic moments of magnetite in a single domain region its rotation from the natural orientation can change neurons functionality that is important point basically a of this study big right so uh, when it is parallel or anti parallel it does not uh, basically change the position it remains its uh, original form but when it is at of 90 degree then at that time basically uh, the orientation change and at that time i am saying uh, this is the possibility when uh, the signals uh, which is carried out from the neurons uh, to uh, the specific organ of a body or to the body itself or senses of its 
uh, that, that signal basically is not in the uh, right correct uh, form and then uh, something will disturb inside the body and mind and that will be not uh, treatable by any kind of medicine. So now the next part comes and uh, in this next part uh, uh, I am just focusing on that where is the uh, more possibility to find the magnetization inside the brain. So as uh, uh, mentioned into the first article that was published in 2018 in scientific reports that mentioned that uh, most probable places are uh, cerebellum and brainstem and in the first uh, slide I also mentioned that cerebellum is just only 10% of the brain size right and it contains more than 80% of neurons just imagine the capacity of the cerebellum and this cerebellum is connect closely connected with the pineal gland and brainstem is very close to the uh, pineal gland uh, that is the uh, mid uh, basically brain uh, of the part of that right so these things we have to keep in our mind and most of the time you had heard that uh, we use only 10 percent of our mind rest of the part remains an inactive that inactive because of that uh, more than 80 percent neurons are available into the cerebellum are always inactive so uh, because of that reason uh, in uh, uh, philosophy view basically um, at many places it is mentioned that pineal gland should be active so that activation of the pineal gland basically helps uh, uh, for uh, uh, to include those 80% uh, neurons uh, which basically remain inactive uh, in many lives right so from that point of view and here i want to make that picture more clear that where is the brain stem where is the cerebellum which i am saying that that have more than 80 percent neurons of the mind right uh, this area this one right and it is connected with this uh, uh, pineal gland here right this is the uh, brain stem complete part this pons and uh, medulla this part is called the brain stem Right, so this spinal gland and uh, this uh, cerebellum and uh, this uh, uh, brain stem, this part is observed is more magnetized. And uh, uh, from the top of view, uh, this basically pineal gland is shown by this way here in this picture. Right, so uh, I have basically used all these facts to explain all these things and. Uh, here in this slide actually I want to show that comparison uh, uh, about to the neurons ratio in cerebellum uh, for the rodents and uh, primates and rodents is called basically mice, rats, squirrel and goanna pigs like that. Primates like animals like human, monkeys and uh, apes uh, which basically remain in this category uh, and uh, their weight mass of the brain uh, like in rodent brain. 1.5 kg uh, primate brain 1.5 kg human brain basically is 1.508 kg and uh, total number of neurons in brain are uh, 12 billion 93 billion 86 billion into human brain and uh, mass of cerebellum as i told you right now 1.5 uh, this is 154 gram uh, which is basically 10 percent of the total uh, mass of the brain and how much basically the neurons are in cerebellum you can see 69 billions right 69 billion here is uh, this is 86 billion total number of the neurons in the brain so it is more than uh, you can see here uh, the 80 percent so by this way in human beings uh, human brain uh, you can compare with the other species right that uh, how much important is the cerebellum in our brain right now the second case uh, third case you can say that about to the how basically mind brain stores the memory and uh, that basically studies uh, is carried out on the proposal of this that uh, uh, magnetite is uh, magnetite is more responsible to store the data inside the brain uh, as per uh, this uh, proposal and uh, in this proposal tandem mechanism actually 
uh, prions uh, from the protein uh, uh, are important and these prions interact with this magnetite to store the uh, data in a similar way like we use in electronic devices the storage uh, devices uh, we use the magnetic materials to store the data similar way we can say we can use here right uh, that interaction and uh, again memory storage in brain through magnetite uh, i already told you that how basically they store it now we are not interested uh, that uh, the functionality the procedure how basically it happens but uh, we are interested that uh, it happens uh, because of these particles uh, like the magnetite grains uh, prions right so magnetite uh, basically is very important uh, and uh, to carry the information from here and there it has also previously been proposed that magnetite is involved in the storage of information in neurons and these articles are responsible for this kind of studies and uh, many other also in this slide actually i have mentioned that which uh, physical postures are allowed and which direction is allowed like this uh, in this uh, right now uh, the north direction is not allowed for sleeping purpose so whether you are sleeping into the uh, surface of the earth or uh, on the bed or any surface of uh, of any material uh, this is not allowed to keep uh, head towards the north right this is not allowed and uh, this was the question by which uh, i am uh, studying all these facts and uh, scientific facts and uh, trying to combine all this to conclude that it is allowed or not allowed Yes, in our culture, we say that it is not allowed to sleep in that particular direction, keeping head in that particular direction. But to study, to meditate and to puja or any other rituals, you, you basically have to do that things. So you have to keep your face towards the uh, north direction, especially when uh, uh, meditation and uh, study is carried out. So at that time, we say that uh, one have to keep their face towards the north direction and one uh, at the time of meditation it is must to keep face uh, towards the north direction to for the good results but sleeping is not allowed why what is the reason behind to it and uh, uh, that part we are searching by all these facts that uh, we are looking here uh, through the research and uh, now the next slide uh, about to this fact and here in the first slide i have shown you here uh, the role of uh, the importance of this spinal gland Actually, pineal gland is maximum exposed when we put our head towards the north direction. How basically uh, this is the shape of this pineal gland uh, from the top side and this is the rectangular shape you can see here. And uh, this is shown in one research article which I will uh, show you that reference into the next slide. And the, uh, and the result of magnetic uh, uh, dipoles in a single domain uh, which results basically we have seen into the scientific reports article from that we conclude that and here magnetic field of the earth this is the north right so when we uh, put our head towards it this is the top and this is the top this side top so magnetic field easily penetrate that top of the skull right and uh, here this uh, pineal gland basically get exposed and interact with that field this is the important point and uh, because of that some happens something happen inside the body and mind right uh, what is the dimensions of this uh, pineal gland actually in uh, one this study uh, this research article you can see here where uh, for a patient uh, it was carried out uh, this medical study and they mentioned uh, its size approximate size is it is not necessary that uh, every day uh, it is remain same for that patient actually so we can basically approximate suppose uh, its size is 14 by 10 so it is a rectangular uh, shape of the pineal gland so uh, uh, I am saying that uh, it, it is exposing uh, more uh, or it is sensitive to the magnetic field. It is magnetosensitive uh, pineal gland. So when we are sleeping towards uh, keeping uh, uh, head uh, of the top towards the north direction, the magnetic field of the earth interact with the magnetic field of the pineal gland. And as a result, uh, whatever is happening that is result of it 
but on the other side we says that uh, uh, keeping face towards the north is good for the study and uh, meditation because at this time if you see the magnetic domain uh, here uh, as i shown here there is no interaction when it is parallel at this time at this posture this uh, magnetic dipole moment is uh, perpendicular right so at this position when we laying down uh, we basically uh, put our head towards the north direction in our assumptions it is perpendicular and when it is perpendicular theta is 90 degree and torque will be maximum because of that it will, uh, will uh, move uh, from their own position and it will rotate uh, and uh, earth's magnetic field basically will try to align it in the own direction and uh, because of this disturbance so many things happen so which you are saying the diseases and behavior in of the person but when you are sitting here uh, there is no uh, as such any role of the theta theta is zero right uh, now the second point comes uh, but uh, uh, here cosmic rays when you are sitting like this way and the keeping your head towards the north uh, we we are saying that uh, result are good as compared to the other position of the uh, face so now the second study of this part of this part is basically when the cosmic rays basically penetrate uh, this part right what will happen that is the second part of this study uh, so this is the possibility of every study remains so here i have not included that part uh, that part is pending uh, but uh, uh, keeping uh, jo face uh, towards the north that is uh, 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 good for the study purpose and for any creativity or meditation puja etc whatever uh, you can except to the sleeping uh, this uh, direction is not allowed here i want to uh, basically mention one important thing uh, in terms of the importance of the directions actually Uh, and uh, these 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 are assumption because i was not at that time into the mahabharata so i can assume that this uh, this is a possibility a uh, krukshetra basically lies in between chandigarh and this uh, karnal side panipat you can see so chandigarh lies in north direction and panipat uh, and karnal lies uh, uh, with respect to the krukshetra in the south direction right uh, right so uh, a, korva fights uh, korva sena was uh, towards the uh, north direction i feel that because gandhar is afghanistan is uh, upward direction so gandhar uh, sena basically army was uh, came from that directions and other people right so uh, the korva was uh, basically uh, in that direction and pandu was in that direction Uh, in the south of it krukshetra and their faces was towards the north and uh, korva faces was towards the south so uh, when basically uh, uh, arjuna killed the uh, bhishma pitamaha in the mahabharata on the 10th day of the 18 days yudha then he fell down towards the east direction i suppose why i suppose because uh, in our literature a uh, culture it is mentioned that uh, bhishma pitama left his prana from his body after 50 days because of the uh, because at that time uh, so, uh, sun was setting in dakshinayan and this position is not favorable to get the moksha so uh, uh, here uh, how it basically could possible if uh, uh bhishma pitamah uh, lay down on the west direction it was not possible to look uh, towards the uh, sun side it was possible only when uh, the he fell down towards the east direction his uh, head was towards the east direction so only then he can see basically the uh, sunset and that time he observed that sun is in uh, dakshina and so he will uh, basically will not die uh, till that uh, sun does not comes into the uttrayana so uh, here uh, you can see that uh, the east position is neutral position when the head is towards that and uh, also head is towards that uh, because uh, of this reason and second thing is uh, dead body in indian culture is not uh, uh, kept or not slipped uh, uh, towards the uh, north side so this is uh, because of that Uh, assumptions i feel that uh, bhishma pitama head was towards the east direction 
and when he uh, had requested to the Archana for the uh, water, the water basically uh, came from uh, the right side. Usually we uh, drink the water from the right side, uh, keep the hand uh, use the most of the time because we are right handed and we suppose that uh, Bhishma Pitama will be right handed. So he drinks the water towards the right side. Also towards the right there is a Gangotri. So this water was assumed and uh, compared with the Ganga Jal. So most probably the Gangotri Jal, the Ganga Jal was here and uh, he drank basically uh, this water. So uh, I, the purpose of this picture here is to show the importance of the directions, earth direction, solar system direction. Uh, the Indian culture was very well aware about all these things and uh, this Mahabharata 5000 years before uh, basically all these things if are available or we can assume if such thing happened. So it is uh, much of importance from the beginning in our culture about to the direction. So in favor of the uh, that one have to slip into the uh, north direction or not. It is basically very clearly uh, shown here that uh, the people who basically is live cannot uh, uh, put their head on the north direction. Right. So uh, in the in this situation, the person basically is laying down on uh, towards keeping their head in the east direction and uh, all the facts are uh, in support to that. And uh, now I can conclude at the first point uh, that what was the question? Question was actually in our culture is that one have to sleep uh, either toward the north, uh, south direction instead uh, of the north. Uh, so north direction is not allowed for sleeping. That is the point. And uh, one have to basically keep face towards the north direction. That was the main question in my mind and I want to find out the answer of it and because of that I have included all the research articles related to that and the all references is, was not possible to include here because uh, you know that uh, it is not a kind of research paper it is a, uh, a kind of study uh, that purpose is basically find out the solution solution uh, of uh, this uh, question that we have, have to lay down towards the uh, north direction or not uh, okay, in the second part uh, of this study, uh, I have collected uh, some research article and read to that about all these things uh, to connect uh, the, uh, the, the title of this presentation and uh, include some uh, philosophical and historical part of that. Then after I have used uh, some uh, physics uh, to implement on the assumptions and to observe the facts and the uh, uh, things uh, uh, about to the question and at the end four point uh, we have seen that how magnetic dipoles orient and uh, changing in uh, magnetic dipoles can distort the neuron signal and uh, that can basically create the diseases and uh, um, disturbance in the mind. So this was our process and uh, uh, personally I feel that uh, I reach uh, uh, 90 percent to the answer of that question and uh, I am in favor of that uh, one I have to avoid the north direction for sleeping purpose. So what is the importance of this study? Importance of this study that uh, I can say uh, uh, now on the basis of this study that one have to avoid the north direction. Second thing is about uh, you have also seen in one slide uh, uh, data storage uh, because we in digital devices use the magnetic material similarly here in one research article it was mentioned that uh, the storage data storage by the brain how, it, how basically it was carried out in terms of the magnetite. What is the significance of this study? You have spent more than 30-40 minutes here and uh, many questions came in your mind at that time that uh, it is wrong or right or what is that or why, why basically uh, we have to believe on that. So there may be many questions but out of these questions and answer one thing is very important which uh, is the value of the magnetic flux that is uh, the range actually which is acceptable 20 to 60 micro tesla in a, a very light mode. Uh, some basically German sign basically engineers allowed 100 micro tesla which basically created by the power supply high power tensions wires right they created more than 100 or 200 that time it is kept uh, uh, it is fixed that uh, that remain below that 
but uh, i am not talking about to it uh, right now i am talking about to the in general that how much basically it should remain so from my point of view 45 micro tesla for human body and mind is fine perfectly fine because it is, has been used in many studies near about to it and in general it is re, it remains 40 or 40 5 40 50 like this one so this range is uh, good but if this range lies be, be below this and above it uh, then you have to avoid that particular place in vastu basically in our culture it has been mentioned very clearly that uh, in the north direction one have to create the uh, a temple or like that so the person when sit there they, their face uh, remain towards the north direction during the meditation and puja or all that that thing that time uh, it is not in a uh, practice now uh, uh, in vastu sastra but it is uh, one important factor in addition to the five elements which we considered uh, into the vastu sastra so north direction is not uh, good for the health and thoughts so one have to avoid it uh, if they were uh, if anyone is sleeping that side so uh, it will not uh, harm you uh, uh, in one day or, or one year basically for a longer duration if you are sleeping there that direction uh, then uh, it is a possibility when uh, magnetic uh, uh, field strength of the earth because it changes with respect to the time uh, so if it changes uh, above that and it changes it can basically bring the change in your uh, mind and uh, body because uh, the magnetic moment changing inside the uh, brain so thank you uh, uh, my dear friends for uh, this uh, 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 interesting uh, thought uh, interesting because uh, it was important uh, for me also uh, to get the answer of it and because of that i thought that i have to make it clear for everyone those who are thinking and those who are believing in a different kind of theories and assumptions which are not relevant to it my purpose was to bring out the answer of uh, it uh, a, a, a in front to the uh, public uh, or the audience of mine who is listening to me so uh, most most probably uh, uh, you will be satisfied with my answer that why you should avoid the north direction for sleeping and not only for one day it, it, it will not happen in one day as i told you that if sometimes earth's magnetic field is beyond the uh, beyond that values uh, which is suitable to us it, it, at that time basically it, it can change uh, the magnetic uh, uh, dipole orientation and uh, then uh, if it happens uh, then uh, you know now that uh, how basically in, uh, neurons uh, will act and uh, if they are uh, uh, signal basically distorted uh, and uh, it will not communicate with the organs properly so uh, the person basically will face the problem in that uh, organ and that will uh, that will not be treatable um, personally this is my um, thinking because uh, a doctor will be not be able to find out the uh, 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 reason or, or problem of that but you are facing the problem because of this reason if sometimes you face the problem which is not treatable by medicine then uh, it might be you are laying down in the north uh, direction uh, for a longer duration so uh, this was uh, this is uh, basically uh, this was my study which i carried out and uh, i hope you had enjoyed it if you think so and if you feel that i have work on it uh, to find the answer and it is uh, suitable for other people also please like it and share it thank you for your time and for your uh, what i should say i don't know but uh, i feel that uh, you people are good and you will like and share this thing and don't forget uh, comment if you have any questions related to this don't forget to comment on it so jai hind and vande matram again if you have any other question or any kivdanti uh, that uh, uh, in future i will uh, include which is uh, remains in our culture and i will give you answer of one question that uh, many times in our culture we say that if i will slap on your back side of the brain 
uh, you will get immediately exposure of the mind of the brain your brain basically efficiency will increase now you get the answer of that so thank you thank you for your time